some of you might have heard um, this governor, this idiot governor in Florida, dumbest governor in America. He is now moving to allow citizens to shoot looters, rioters, targeting businesses. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be another situation where white people are going to try to get away with shooting and killing black people. That's all staying your ground is down there. You know, as soon as black people try to use the law, they don't want you to lose. Uh, you, you can't use the law, but white people can use the law even when it don't apply, you know, and this will be just another law on the books for them to go out during any kind of protest. You could be just walking home from work, minding your business, and they'll come out and shoot you. Talking about you were looting. Well, we see this. If they claim they don't do these things, they do it all the time. All you got to do is pull up the Karen videos. I have yet to see Karen catch one black person committing a crime. That's one very consistent thing in all of those videos. She'll walk up, start the whole situation, no crime going on. Same thing with Darren. When he want to get, you know, get all up in his feelings and want to call the police on black people, again, we still, we're still waiting to see these videos with all this crime going on from black people. You haven't produced one yet. Not one. Not one. So, ladies and gentlemen, this came out on Fox 35 out of Orlando. <sighs> this is November 11th, 2020. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has drafted an anti-mob legislation that would expand the state stand your ground law, a move that worries some would allow armed citizens to shoot and potentially kill anyone they suspect of looting. Now, who do they say are the looters in America? Black people. But every single one of these protests, I see white people in them stores grabbing shit up too. But see, what's going to happen is they're going to ignore them, act like they don't see nothing when they're in the stores grabbing stuff out. But black people, they're going to see everything and run out and go get their gun and shoot you. That's what's going to happen. Shoot, you got what? What's that dude's name? Jake Paul, who's a millionaire, right? He's caught out there looting <laughs> on YouTube. He's caught out there looting. But like I said, they'll go blind when it's one of them. But when it's one from the black community, they're going to see everything. And my thing is they are terrible at identifying black people for one. And all it takes is somebody that just happens to live in an area where it's being protests are going on. And they'll swear somebody just walking home from work is looting and the person is not doing anything. DeSantis' newest legislation comes in response to months of protesting that frequently led to riots in the summer in Florida and across the U.S. following the death of George Floyd, a black man who died after a white Minneapolis police officer knelt on his neck for nearly nine minutes. Yeah, so instead of fixing the root of the problem, uh, just go out there and shoot people that are protesting. <laughs> Uh, once again, doing everything ass backwards. Yeah, this is why your country is coming apart at the seams. Look at the mentality and thinking of the people that are running it. No, don't fix the, the issues with the police. No, don't fix that. Just go out there and shoot citizens. Shoot the citizens instead. Legislation is an attempt to prevent violent and disorderly assemblies by permitting violence against anyone involved in the disruption or impairment of a business. So again, this is more proof. They care more about money than the people. Oh no, you know, that business is making money. We, we got to protect that at all costs. The hell with the people, protect the businesses. How about fixing the problems 
that you're having in this country from your cops. Reportedly described in the draft as being a burglary within 500 feet of a violent and disorderly assembly, according to reporting by the Miami Herald Tuesday. It allows for vigilantes to justify their actions. Uh, former Miami-Dade County prosecutor Denise George, who has uh, worked with the Stand Your Ground cases, told the Miami publication, it also allows for the death to be the punishment for a property crime. And that is cruel and unusual punishment. We cannot live in a lawless society where taking a life is done so casually and recklessly. And see, the people that are for this stuff, they're for it because they're, those are the kind of people that want to shoot us. That's why they're for it. The draft legislation also includes measures that would make protesting, which disrupt public uh, by blocking traffic, a third degree felony. Well, it's not against the law. You got in your constitution that people can protest. So it's amazing how you want to put all these rules in place. How about changing your constitution? which most of y'all don't follow anyway. I don't even know why <laughs> you don't follow no damn constitution and you know it. The law would also reportedly grant immunity to drivers who unintentionally kill or injure protesters who were blocking traffic. So in other words, a driver can just go ahead and run over a protester and he's ready to let you off for the whole thing. But I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, if it's a black man or woman behind the wheel and they run over a white protester, he'll see things completely differently then. See, this man is full of shit. Additionally, the law would allow the state to withhold funds from local governments that cut police budgets. Again, this is all about the cops, y'all. So if you try to defund the police, Ron DeSantis, he's going to punish you by withholding funds for your location or county. DeSantis is, uh, you know, we know he's a big butt kisser of Donald Trump. Um, he reportedly submitted copies of the legislation to the state Senate Committee on Criminal Justice and the House Judiciary Committee, according to the emails obtained by the Miami Herald. It is clear that the Trump beauty pageant is still going on with governor and senators who all want to be the next Trump. Uh, Miami Beach Mayor Dan Gelbert told the publication, and the governor is clearly a very good contestant. Gelber, a former federal prosecutor, was also a critic of the Stand Your Ground law when it first passed in 2005. DeSantis could not be immediately reached by Fox News for comment. Ladies and gentlemen that live in Florida and your families, be careful because this man is just making it easy for people. It's already easy for these folks to get off from shooting black folks. He's about to make it even easier. Okay. <laughs> they already use their courts to keep anybody from getting punished. That kills us. Now they won't even move beyond a police report. If they kill you over some citizen thought you were looting and you may not be looting at all. You may just be out around the protest and they'll just walk up and start shooting. We know how you roll. We know what you do. You got a long history that gives us a roadmap to what happens when you allow these citizens to shoot. They are coming straight for the black community. That's what they're doing. But y'all, please tell me what you think. <sighs> please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.